Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on, everybody? We'll be starting in just a moment here. This is our pre-stream, which I also like to refer to tonight as minus getting up to get another beer. So, uh, Derek, you can feel free to carry this or just pretend you're not there because people wouldn't know otherwise if I wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> well, I already laughed. It's too late for that. <laughs> I'll talk to I'll talk to chat. I'll see what chat's up to. Drac. Getting more drinks just like minus. And Ziplocs and Odal666, Kalendine and everybody that I just saw over in the uh, on the other stream. Fancy that. And Nathaniel Hawkins. Crow Phones singer. In. How are we doing tonight? Remember How's everybody playing? doing over there? Good. Good. Anyone good? Everybody's good? Yeah. Got some chatty folks. Oh, I like it. I like it. So um, real quick, before we start, there's some uh, things on the screen here. We run a pretty, what I'd like to think of as a unique show that I stole from listening to way too much Sports Talk Radio. See, guys, sports ball is not always bad, right? It's no. not always bad. No. Yeah. That's so good it, has its, <laughs> it has its good features. So um, so what this show is all about, if you haven't been here before, so thank you to Mac and Blind, who've just recently followed us within the last minute. Thank you for that. Um, if you haven't been here for this show, it's a little different than other things we do. Uh, this is a community run show. Uh, whoa, whoa, if you hit whoa. exclamation point uh, discord, you'll actually get the link to come to our discord if you'd like. And when you are in the Pantheon Plus discord, which is an awesome community, and by the way, it has nothing to do with me. Um, it's just a really good group of people, a lot of fun talk, a lot of non-judging, just open, free dialogue that goes back and forth. And thank you to the community for that. I don't know how that happened with me at the helm, right? So um, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Um, but there is a, a channel that you'll find in the left hand uh, of the uh, Discord, and it's called The Green Room. And what the, what the important thing is with The Green Room here is if you jump into that green room, you're telling us as the hosts, Derek and myself, you're telling us you want to come on the air and you want to talk about something. You want to ask a question. You want to talk about what we just watched. You have complete ability to come live on the air with us in chat. So it's pretty awesome. So if you want to be live on the show, jump in the green room and we will get to you guys with probably within about a half hour of the show start, if not sooner. Uh, the other part yeah. of it is we will be reading the chat. So as you guys are chatting and asking questions there, we'll be asked, answering what we can as well. So um, yeah, you know, and if you haven't come on the show before, do it. First time's always the best. It's uh, we are we are friendly people. We will <laughs> we will treat you with respect. So get in there and, and jump on. It's it's always good to talk to new people. And, and if you've been on the show before a hundred times, whatever, always welcome. Of course, jump in that green room when you're ready to go. We'd love to have you. So with that being said, the rolls are on the screen. You guys understand what's going on. We got the automatic things pinging and going i want to thank sparrow for the subscription six months sparrow you're amazing you're you're awesome we really do appreciate everything you do for the community yep okay so let's get it started i'm going to throw up the warning the little intro and we're going you ready let's go oh we're, we're live we're, we're streaming right now cool awesome man let me just uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on, everybody? Minus here from Pantheon Plus, and beside me, as always, my Elven Ranger buddy for the recap shows and for the rewind. He can't get away from me. It's fantastic. This contract's working really good, Derek. It's the contract and probably the chains as well, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. Part of the contract Derek. is the chain, apparently. There he is. Oh, no. There he is. Yeah, you were your video on? went crazy, but you had a good you had a good pose there. You were like smiling. And you're just like looking real good, smiling, and you couldn't hear you for a second. But then all of a sudden, you started working. <laughs> okay, well, I was frozen in a good pose. That's good. Yeah, that's always good. Oh, man, yeah. that Canadian internet tonight. Is it going to do it to us? All right. Anyway, no big deal. Don't worry about it. We'll get you through it. Usually, it only happens for a few minutes. Um, so, hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. Uh, maybe. Maybe, right? Yeah. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. All right. Well, that's all that matters, right? I'm kidding. I'm just joking. 
Um, okay, so yeah, everybody, welcome. Tonight, uh, we got a, a little bit of information for the path to alpha. Uh, thank you to Ben and thank you to Joppa for giving us some time tonight to kind of go through that list that was given to us um, back in the newsletter and uh, you know, kind of expanding on it a little bit. So we got a lot of notes to go over. We're going to talk through those, give some honest opinions on what we think of them. And then uh, what we'll do is once we go through our notes, we're going to go ahead and invite you guys on in the green room. So jump in there. We already have about five people in there. Let's fill it up. Fill it up. Let's go. It'll be a lot of fun. Get in here and chat with us for a bit. I want to thank, uh, we had a, a few subscriptions that are doing our metal intro. Um, Bounty Code, uh, Keladine and um, bl uh, Bind, or is it Blind? Blind, sorry, there was two eyes that confused me. Um, blind, uh, thank you all for the subscriptions and, and the support. You guys are incredible, so thank you for that. So, Theric, um, well, I'm going to mm -hmm. start the poll here. If you want to go ahead and kind of kick this off, kind of give uh, yeah. give a little run out here. Yeah. Well, I mean, this was this was just a recap of the of the producer's letter, as, as we know, and that's what they said it was going to be. And so, you know, it was a lot of details that um, we had already. You know, if you hadn't read the producer's letter, I guess it was new to you. But I think most of the people who are here tonight probably had. Um, I want to I want to just focus on a couple of the highlights, because rather than just re recap everything they went through, but um, some of, some of the, the new stuff we saw was pretty cool. Um, and I mean, we could just talk about the Ranger animations all night and pretty much leave everything else out if you're asking me but um okay because they were there <laughs> pretty awesome we saw monk animations which were actually um much more there was more of them than the ranger ones and the, the monk ones looked pretty damn good um we saw a new map which is pretty crazy yeah. um I do that's have, a big deal everyone's like show the map so we will show the map yeah there you go. there's um i had to screen clip it and be quick about it but we wanted to get it on the show so there's a little look at the map we'll do a little more talk i think talking of the map here um, mm -hmm. in a little bit. Once we kind of get through our recap, but I'll put it back up. It's not it's not the mm -hmm. cleanest looking picture again. It was like a screen cap and then I saved it and threw it in here. So it could look better, but uh, for now it'll do. So. Yeah, yeah, no, it's uh, it's really interesting. Lots to talk about there. We saw um, I think the talk about the NPC AI was pretty cool, even though I think, mm -hmm. you know, we, we've heard about that before. Um, some some of the ins and outs of the AI and what they how they're coding it, how they're sort of creating it um, is very exciting to me. I really enjoy that uh, intelligent creature design. That's um, something I can talk about for a while. So we'll hit that. The um, atmospheres being renamed to fractures, although, you know, just sort of a name change. Um, so some interesting details there. You want to, I'm going to go into this because I think sure. it's funny. Um, this is me talking too much about what we're working on when we're not ready to. You guys know I'm good for that. Derek, you know. Uh, yeah. I have zero ability to uh, hold back when we're working on something fun that I want to share. Uh, I drive Poiru crazy with this. I drive you crazy with this and some of the people working on stuff. But um, but since I can, because there's no one who tells me I can't, I can give a little bit of uh, info here. So it's funny on the, um, the fracture thing because we uh, here at Pantheon Plus, and hopefully you guys will like this because it is going to be very community driven once we get it out there. But we are in the middle of... Um, working through a very long Pantheon MA, uh, basically, basically a, a FAQ. Now, because we are not official, we're going to call it an unofficial Pantheon <laughs> FAQ. So we've gone as far back to grab the old FAQ, um, to go through the FAQ word for word, uh, make sure that anything doesn't sound like we're talking for VR, um, updating uh, different pieces of it to show relevant new information. Um, and stage one is a cleanup and then adding in some of the stuff that was in the old FAQ. And then we're going to eventually be putting that on the website, which you'll be able to interact with, search, uh, be able to um, uh, ping us for an update. Uh, eventually, we're looking to have media associated with the FAQ questions when we can, since Pantheon.plus has a lot of media already. It's pretty easy to do. So we're looking to really build up a, a new, solid, easy to use FAQ. Um, and uh, in doing that, and why am I spilling all this? It's because it's funny when we were updating the old FAQ from the old website and they were talking about climates and atmospheres. I could even see in the the and this was all online. This was like no secret. This was online for years and years and years. Um, but there was times where they would talk about a climate and refer to like the cold atmosphere. It, it was kind of funny because I could see like Joppa was talking about in tonight's stream how it kind of got confusing 
um, even internally talking about like atmosphere versus climate. So it was kind of funny to see that happen. And I've done that too. And you guys know that I love climates and atmospheres. And I do it all the time where I'll like accidentally say one or another words. I think it's actually really good for clarity because they're two very different systems. And I know it's just a name change. It's not something we're all going to go get like t-shirts over and have a you know exciting time <laughs> about, but it is going to create clarity for new discoverers or people trying to figure out what is this climate and atmosphere system or what is this now climate and fracture system. And the word fracture, I think ties to the fact that that is a more unnatural thing that's happening. So I actually thought that, that was pretty interesting because we were stumbling on it as we were trying to upgrade, update the uh, FAQ. And it's just kind of funny that that all came to be. So thankfully that was announced and we can now kind of start putting that in there so we don't even confuse ourselves. But anyway, so I jumped in and kind of took over whoa, whoa, right whoa, there, whoa. but it was pretty, uh, oh, Joppa already has a t-shirt made by the way. So <laughs> I was going to say, I ordered my t-shirt while the stream was going on. I, I mean, didn't you do the same thing? I mean, what what's going on? You didn't, you yeah, didn't what, jump on that? Everybody type in like what you would put on the front of a shirt for fracture. I want to see the chat who can come up with the best fracture shirt. So everybody put something in there and we'll read them here. Uh, but Theric, go ahead and continue. I jumped in there. No, that was the last that was the last whoa. thing that I had is like a highlight. The things that were you know, relatively map. new. What's yeah, that? The map wasn't a highlight for you guys. There, no, I, didn't. Like the I said the map and then I said okay. NPC AI and then I said atmospheres and atmospheres becoming fractures. Whoa, 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 whoa. So those are the those are sort of the the. The new stuff, you know, I think the bigger discussion here is, um, you know, they talked about the, what the priorities were for Alpha 1, and they went through the list in sort of a priority whoa, whoa, number one whoa. is this, priority number two is this. And so we could, you know, with all those details, we know what those details are, but the, the discussion is more about like, you know, why are those, do we agree with that priority list? Is that a the way that, um, you know, what's that going to look like? What's that going to feel like in terms of us as fans and, and what we see from the development process? You know, and and um, so that's I think that's the bigger discussion, minus. And um, I know that you must have been happy that the first one was classes, right? Yeah. Like classes yeah. being the the number one priorities for everything. So, um, so there were some great notes, some great sort of like reasons for why that is. And I think the one that stuck with me is, you know, everybody experiences the world through their class. Um, so getting those done allows players to experience the world in the way that they, you know, in the way that they want to, in the way that they um expect to so yeah. what, what did you think about the classes uh part well it's it's there was something very interesting do you remember when we interviewed kevin jordan and talked about classes and we um he had talked about sort of all the analytics they had about how people um played certain classes right and and we had asked the mm -hmm. question you know do you get concerned when there's a class that's very much so underplayed like does that mean that you're going to look at that class now and you're going to try to be like well why aren't people playing it and he had a really interesting response. It was something I never thought of. And Joppa actually said something uh, pretty close to the same here, which was awesome. And he said sort of like how classes, like you just said, are identities for people. But it's not just your identity. It it encompasses a lot more like your play style. It encompasses, you know, your, your emotion sometimes, your um, yeah. type of play. You know, there's a big difference between being a healer versus being a tank. Right. Like there's different qualities in a person that wants to be support. And it's interesting that that was brought up. And I really love hearing that because they, you know, the big thing Joppa threw in there again was, you know, these classes are going to play extremely different. Like the excitement that I think people are going to have to be able to, because you know how it is, right? Like we've been following the game for a long time. So you're like, I'm a ranger. I'm like, I'm a rogue. I've already switched three times, but, you know, I'm a rogue. It's going to be yes. really fun for the people that aren't sure what class they're going to be. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, so yeah. it's, it's, it's fun to me that if all these classes play differently, then everyone's going to really enjoy like kind of digging into them and figuring it out and like finding that fit. And I, I just love that. And yeah, classes are my favorite. Um, I thought yeah. the monkey animations were really cool. The backflip was badass. It looked really good. It was really smooth. Uh, you called out the uh, charged, like, what was it called? The uh, I have I'm trying to remember the name of it now. I have it. I have it. Yeah. It's called the. Uh, some sort of punch, but down. basically the hold back. What it? was it? It's funny. I wrote <laughs> it in my notes, but it's not there. Like something happened. Someone stole my notes. All right. Anyway, yeah, we were yeah, watching the blazing like, fist punch or something. I'm blazing sorry. fist punch. 
Yeah. That was awesome. That was a great animation. That's close. That's close. Yeah, that's cool. And and what's interesting and what I wanted to add is that there's a little bit of a tidbit drop there on monks that they have a lot of charged abilities. We have not mm-hmm. seen a charged ability yet in any of the classes that have been shown on any of the streams. So um, that's pretty cool to know because I think if you read through the old skills or even the new skills on the website, that the the longer you charge an ability, the more potential damage it can do at the use of more resource for some of them. It may not be that way for everything, but that's a really yeah. neat thing and we haven't seen that yet. So it'll be, talk about the difference in play style between being a rogue that's just quick, in and out, positioning, get here, do that, hit this, you know, that kind of thing versus a, a monk that's going to be a little more calm, a little more calculated, so to speak. And mm-hmm. I like that. Well, you realize that these classes, whoa, like whoa, whoa, whoa. classes are content and that might seem like, you know, uh, kind of dumb, but like the, you mm. think about content, you think it's about the, the world, you think of, game. it's the biggest content. Yeah, game. Like you, you tend to go more to like, you know, NPCs, environments, areas, um, loot, you know, battling, but the, the classes are really the, the, the bones of the content. And, um, you know, so the, the fact that that's the primary focus, I think is, mm. I, I think that's a great decision. And we've talked about this before and then everybody just gravitates towards their classes loves classes and you got to get that right and that's pantheon so you know focused on class identity and and it's so lost it's such a lost thing in the mmo genre i think so um it's great it's great stuff so before um, we jump forward we did put a challenge out there to chat so let's read some of it uh yeah. let's see joppa says his shirt says i changed atmospheres of fractures i ch- <laughs> that's just that just <laughs> that's all uh ronick what the frack dot 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 sure that's not bad. Um, let's see. T-shirts, T-shirts. Nafel says, beware of fractures. And it shows a picture of Ronix corpse. You always get extra points if you can <laughs> tie Ronix corpse into it, right? Um, yeah. Let's see here. Um, <laughs> JJ says, he, he's going to laugh because I didn't call him by Kaladin. Um, JJ says, my atmosphere is fractured. That's a good one. He's just like happy that. you got his name right at all. Like, let's, I, let's be honest. Did I get here. it right? I don't even know if I did. Yeah. I just said it really fast. Um, I put, while you were talking, I pretended to be paying attention to what you said so I could write my shirt, but my shirt was, I went to an atmosphere and all I got was this fracture. <laughs> I like that one. That's pretty good. I like, uh, Tums indigestion says, this is my fractured. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. So there's a lot yeah. of good ones. Here. A lot of good yeah. ones. Uh, big shout out to rancid turnip, arc bishops, uh, zealot, um, all jumping in, um, subscriptions and follows. And I just really, again, thank you guys. I want to make sure you guys get a shout out when you do that. Um, while we're talking about the fractures, I'm just going to read the lore that like Jop, I have to read this because it's basically the only lore thing in this whole thing. Um, when he was talking about the fractures, this is what he said. He said, a fracture is a breaking in the seal of mana that's holding things together. And when they occur, they have an emblematic visual. So that's like not lore, but that's just describing it. But a breaking in the seal of mana that's holding things together. And I think about fractures. I think about what JN said on the last uh one of the last round tables, he talked about the moon being fractured. One of the twin moons is fractured. Think about that old stream when they showed um, Sleepless and uh, the sort of the planetary collision that was in the background. Anyway, makes me think of that cool lore stuff. Got to, I got wish to I it. had the queued up sound. Uh, that would be awesome. Wait, hold on. Maybe I do. Because did you <laughs> see what Drac just said? Did you see that? No. What did you say? Well, hold on. I can, the lore you know. <laughs> yeah. So hold on. You know, we do the, uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can just play this. <laughs> Bring in the rewind to the Pantheon Plus. Yeah. I just threw the, uh, the, uh, do, 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 and I blocked you on camera too, but oh well, you're back. That's um, it. so yeah, the lore, you know, good one, Drac. Um, <laughs> if you guys don't know, Gotta do it on our rewind podcast, there's often a lore, you know, session with Eric who ties together some pieces of lore. So yeah, good stuff there. good for sleeping, good for sleeping, <laughs> falling yeah. asleep to my voice, reading lore. Someone else said, and I just want to touch base again on what you talked about with, uh, classes being content as a, a good one. Um, but, uh, the, somebody said in there to make that a shirt, which is great, but it's also, you were kind of hinting at it, but then we got, I think I sidetracked you. We, um, we know that all the things we fight in the world are going to be deeply based on the classes we play. So that independence of what we play is going to be seen in the NPCs we combat, which is pretty cool because it's twofold. I am somebody who's really into classes, no duh, 
But I also like learning all the other classes so that I can help people. Like someone comes to me and they're a monk and I'm not a monk, but I want to know enough to be able to help somebody through trying to figure out a play style or where they might be struggling. And it's going to be neat because now learning the classes is not just going to be important from a sense of how we play the classes and how we interact with each other, but how the NPCs play. Being able to know a class now is going to have a very big tie into fighting a monk um, out in the open world. And not every game's like that. Like World of Warcraft is not like that. Um, there might very be few games are like that. Yeah, like they have the, every NPC sort of has its own ability set that's like created for the NPCs. I kind of like the fact that you know I'll know how to kill rangers from spending time with you. It's perfect. It's like the greatest thing that could ever happen to me. Right? <laughs> So. find some ranger orcs out there and kill them yeah so just again the classes part of it is so big it's it's the identity of what we're going to fight and kill uh it is the identity of who we are i mean listen uh, you guys can rag on me all you want here but i'd play a full pantheon game gray box if all these other things worked well because that's what i care about like the graphics are important and that's going to be what draws in more people to fill that world up for us but this yeah. is the end all. I mean, I can go classes all day, so we'll skip. Let's yeah, well, class it, but yeah. well, I want to one, but there's one more thing I want to mention before we move on because you talked about how every class is being designed, um, sort of on a one to one basis with the NPCs, and I think that's I think that there's a lot to unpack there. We could talk about that all night, but the one thing I, I thought that was kind of interesting is they they showed these animations, right? And it's like I, I'm wondering, and I think the case may be, and I don't know, but that the animations for the NPCs are also one-to-one -one with the player animations. I actually asked the question in chat a couple of times, didn't get answered, so maybe not, but um, you know, seeing those ranger animations, seeing the monk animations, what if you see NPCs, you know, using those animations, you would maybe assume that that's, that's what's gonna happen. So um, yeah. that's well, I mean, cool. think about this, right? Like you're so used to doing these boss fights where they have these signature way that they, an ability is coming for you and you know, like a pose or an action they do is like trigger, like, oh, it's coming. But imagine you're a monk and you're really good at playing monk and you see a monk charge up one of those fist attacks. You know that's coming, right? Like, yeah, so right. it's, it's exactly. kind of neat to understand your class well enough to be able to guide a group at the NPCs you may be fighting. And I think that's really cool. That's amazing, right? Like, that's amazing. I love that. And uh, they said the monk is not in for this testing session, but they're hoping for the next one, right? Yep. Yep. So. And uh, just a heads up, because it wasn't shouted out, but Madaki was awesome, answered a question we had. Um, obviously, uh, Ben talked about, you know, if you guys want to get into this, um, you can still upgrade your pledge or you can pledge if you've been thinking about jumping in. Um, you can still get into this 30 hour session that's coming at the end of the uh, week here. Uh, but I did ask Madaki, like, when's that cut off? Like, I would hate for you guys to be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to update, you know, tomorrow night and I'll be ready. Um, there is a process for getting you all set up, ready to go, answering questions. Um, Madaki said, you know, try if if you're thinking about trying to get in for the 30 hour session, um, tonight's probably the cutoff. So I don't want someone to sign up tomorrow and just be really devastatedly let down. I would hate that to happen. So I'm really happy. Madaki, thank you so much for um, giving that shout out and answering that question. I know that can be tough because you'd love to be able to go right up to the minute. But logistically, it's not that easy to get everybody set up. So if you are thinking about jumping in or upgrading, uh, it has to be tonight. So uh, then we can see yeah. you in there in that 30 hour session, which would be sweet. So that was a good question to ask. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And again, thank um, you for giving that. Yeah. Yeah. No. And just, you know, I won't go through each one of them, but the next priority they talked about was that combat awareness, the NPC combat awareness. And I, there was a few key points here that I really wanted to call out because I think they were great. Um, you know, how NPCs can uh, know that someone's casting a spell within their range and then they respond to that knowledge. They know what state the player's in. They know they can detect highest health. They can detect uh, specific classes, races, even buffs. How, like, how crazy is that, right? Like I don't can... know if I've ever played an MMORPG, and I'm sure I have, and I'm just not remembering well. Have you ever played an MMORPG where the tank has full control of an enemy and then all of a sudden the caster starts to cast a heal spell and it turns and just uses an interrupt and then goes back to the tank? Like, is that I can't think of see? anything like that. Because you wouldn't, that would happen, but only after the heal got on the tank, right? <laughs> like, like yeah. it, it would be like if it's detecting the casts or even just the class, you know, being active. I think it's it's kind of incredible. It's kind of uh, it's and also just like deep, level. like if, I don't even know that I can remember other than like massive boss, um, you know, like boss abilities or specific events but like imagine you debuff a bunch of enemies and then one of the other ones is like taking them off of them <laughs> like what a yeah. pain in the ass but it would be awesome right so that's cool 
That'd be amazing. Yeah, no, and then the side, just this stuff is pretty cool, man. This is like pretty next sort of on the next level in terms of the AI and combat and um, I just great stuff. Um, and then the, the rest of the stuff, and they also said, just go back to that one second. They said, this is going to be on display for this week's uh, pre-alpha testing. So uh, again, if you're in for that, you, you know, you get a chance to sort of get a taste of what they're talking about here. Um, you know, and the other priorities go down the list. They talked about the European networking, um, and then lots of other ones, guilds, the perception system. A lot of this was not new information. We, we read this in the letter, um, so I won't go into it. Um, minus, was there anything in the, you know, sort of the rest of the stuff that stood out to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, the one we, we've talked about a lot, I don't want to go on and on about the network stack and the URP. Obviously, one of the most important things that's going to happen, um, you know, right now they're saying it's about a two month heads down. Um, the difference between now and Project Fairthale when they did a refactor, um, number one, it's a much smaller scale because um, if you guys haven't heard Joppa talk about this before, Kyle, when he refactored, was adding all the hooks in. And basically what that means is if you're going to take, and this is the most layman terms ever, so please make fun of me all you like for this, but if you're going to take this network stack that connects everything together and how everything works and you're going to put it into the game, it has to have hooks to fit in so everything in the game that's already a system connects cleanly into it. So when they started the original refactor, there was none of that, right? And one of the things that's interesting about the original refactor, when you talk to Kyle, um, when he was on, uh, I think either a VIP roundtable or a stream, he talked openly about the fact that they spent more time removing code than adding code to make the game more efficient. But a lot of that also was adding these hooks in so that when they want to implement all this stuff, it's going to fit together better. So the network stack implementation is is very important. And the difference here is, is because of the original refactor and what happened with Project Fairthale and leading up to you know, the newest pre-alpha and everything that we've seen is that they've been preparing for a long time to have this happen. So the difference too is, is with everything that's been prepared, you're not going to have as long of a downtime and you're going to maybe be able to have more implementation happening while it's happening. It's not going to be a complete shutdown of everyone's abilities. So Joppa kind of talked about that with tools. They have a lot of tools right now, but they still need a little bit more to make sure everybody can work um, so really, that's one of the most interesting things that, you know, and I know there's not a timetable, but that's the one I really want to know. People want to know when does Alpha start? What I want to know is like, when do we think these tools are going to be done? I know that they've set this. It's not a goal. I want to make sure I'm very clear on this for anyone who's been following the game. It is they are not saying the end of this year, Alpha is definitely going to happen. It's their goal to try to get there. If things go well, that may happen. But I would imagine that for that to happen that they need to get these tools created soon so they can take that two month period to do the network stack while they're working. So that's the one that I'm really interested in. When this year are they going to have the ability to jump into putting the network stack in and, and seeing the results of it? So that's a big one for mm -hmm. me. It's not exciting. Um, it's not fancy like classes. Um, it's not something we can sit here and debate theory craft on, but it's, uh, it's really important to me to know if that doesn't start till October, then we're definitely not having alpha this year. If, if it starts sooner, well, then maybe there's a chance or at least as we get into the next year, it's going to be very close. So that's something yeah. I'm really keeping a big eye on. And um, he also talked about URP. And uh, there was a question at the end of the stream about Houdini populating the world over the gray box. And that really can't happen to the level they want it to happen until the network stack and the URP are all in place. So there's, those are very important pieces as well as, you know, bringing in, they keep saying 8,000 plus, who knows how many people, it might even be crazier than that, but 8,000 plus alpha backers at the same time need, these things need to be in place. So, yeah. So I think that's a good segue into the bigger question here. And that's, you know, with what we saw tonight, you know, it's, it's what may, you know, middle of May and, you know, with what we saw tonight, do you, you know, do we feel like it's moving along? you know, well, do we, where do we feel about where we're at in terms of what we saw? I mean, um, you know, the poll question is there, so you can, you know, yeah. everybody in chat can vote for that and how they feel about this. I mean, I'll give you my opinion. I, I feel like, I feel like this was, you know, okay in terms of reviewing the producer's letter and sort of whoa, getting whoa, some, whoa. some little details here and there. Um, yeah. you know, I maybe would have wanted to get a little bit more of a, you know, we details. got the letter this, this, a couple months ago now we've checked this off the list this off the list or this off the list or we're working on you know like just more of a more of a you know put a pin in where they are in that producer's letter or where that's where they sort of have progressed since that newsletter came out yeah what about you whoa, no whoa, i agree whoa. um you know if i'm going to be critical on anything um it was 
there were definitely some things we learned. So this wasn't just a recap, but I, I yearn for the day where we're going through this list and checking stuff off. Right. Yeah. Um, which is going to happen. Um, I can't speak openly and confidently to everybody who's listening here saying, here's how I feel this progress looks. I have this weird feeling that, wow, it feels slow right now that everything being done behind the scenes is going to get plugged in quick. So what may happen is we may feel, and again, this totally, I'm not, I don't have any inside information. This job, I can chime in right now and be like, mine is completely wrong, but I feel like there's a lot going on that we're not seeing. We're going to have the network stack put in and things are going to get start plugged in and it's going to go much quicker because of what's going on now. If that makes any sense. So I think that until that network stacks in, things are going to feel slow because we're not seeing it and feeling it and touching it. And, oh, my God, look at that. And then I think all of a sudden you're going to start to see a lot of connections occurring from that point. So. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just a matter of, you know, when do we when are we going to see that shift? When are we going to see that shift into high speed mode? You know, they talked about this actually, I think, in October, or December, you know, talking about the refactor is going to, you know, really put us into this this yeah. next level of. Uh, you know, moving forward. And, you know, it, it, it's a good that they've got this roadmap. We've, what we've asked for a roadmap and we've been sort of, you know, critical to say there is no map. Now we have it now. Um, you know, let's, let's feel that, let's feel that progress, you know, a little more is, is, is uh, maybe where I um, was at at the end of the stream. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but that, you know, those, I think what you said is, is, absolutely correct you know like i think that uh you got to get those foundations in first and like i said the classes being the priority i think is very very um promising and very a uh, good decision so yeah yeah i don't know thing, that's uh, all we, i had to say about that yeah we're gonna we're gonna get to the green room here I'm very shortly we see you got six of you in there everyone jump in if you want to come chat live on the show give your opinion ask a question um you guys can see we're fortunate to have some people in discord uh, or in uh, the chat here from VR maybe they'll even chime in no pressure um but um you just jump into discord like that and you can uh get into the green room if you want to ask some questions also chatting in there uh we're going to get to that very very soon um now the couple of more things i want to talk about is they're changing climbing in a sense there's going to have a different resource mechanic that's going to work maybe in tandem with another um, the interesting thing about pulling it away from endurance is that um, there's classes that use endurance. As a rogue, I use endurance. So it makes sense for that to happen um, because if you watch the streams, well, no, I, I can't, I don't think I can really go into that. Uh, you, uh, yeah. But anyway, endurance being able to be manipulated for climbing would also mean that a rogue would gain advantage of that possibly. Um, so it makes sense to separate that out. Does that, does that make sense? So like I, I kind yeah. of first saw that coming. Yeah, no, it does make sense when you think about it from that. I mean, you have a unique perspective on this being the, you know, having played the rogue and knowing that uh, how it would work with with that system. Um, I think what was really interesting about the climbing thing was more of a reveal. And I should have mentioned this earlier, but more of a reveal about but this underlying skill system that we haven't seen. Right. Mm. Like they did say that there's a there's a skill system. I and mean, honestly, it made me think of EverQuest. I mean, we, we all know how it worked in EverQuest, right? <laughs> you kicked things long enough, your kick got better and yeah. all these little like, you know, that's sort of what it reminded me of. Um, we haven't seen it yet. They haven't shown it in any of the streams, which is interesting. So now, um, you know, when you climb, you know, your climbing will, you know, just again, not to reference EverQuest too much, but we just, that's the template we have. It's like, you think, oh my, your climbing skill increased, you know. Yeah, it's um, very interesting talk, for them to say it's sort of been there already. Um, yeah. So for people who've tested or if you've seen the different streams that are done, I guess it's been going on underneath which is very interesting now to sit here and kind of almost want to go back and watch some of those streams and like, like, huh, did I notice mm -hmm. Did I feel it and didn't know? Um, so that's pretty interesting. It is strange. Yeah. It's very interesting. And then, and then when you level up, you jump to the next tier, I think is what Joppa was talking about. Uh, right now, climbing is not governed by a skill. It's just endurance, but they're like, you, like you said, they're going to be changing that around. Well, and so don't this forget rogues anyway, you're going to be better at climbing. So many, so many climbing things already. So many that's, tools that's at just, your disposal. It's just so crazy that I just picked the best class randomly. You know, like we weren't playing yet. There was no rogue in the game yet. It's just interesting. You know, I picked the best class. I just feel bad, right? I almost really? feel like you. Yeah, I feel have bad. You changed? Like I, are, you, are you becoming a ranger? Because I mean, no, I'm not saying, changing. Only, I'm definitely wait, that's the only way that makes sense class. is if you're actually playing a ranger. No, no, I just feel okay. bad that, you know, luckily, like for you, you'll be fine. You'll get to hang out with a rogue all the time. That's going to take care of you. But I just feel bad for like the people that don't get to play with rogues. I just feel like it's, it's, you know, 
just feel bad. I don't know. You're yeah, not going to well, get the full experience. Don't, um, don't cry for us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so last couple of things, loadouts, love it, need it, love it. Um, and I actually engage with somebody in chat. So let me throw this out there. They're probably not watching, but there's a guy who was asking like about the loadouts. Like if you can just change your loadouts, then like, what's the point of limited action set? And how are we going to feel different? Um, and I kind of just engage with what I know, you know, as an unofficial fan of the game. Um, and I just told him, you know, there's that mastery is going to be a big part of that. Your gear is going to be a big part of that. You know, Joppa has been on um, record saying that, you know, skills are still going to have um, effects from different statistics. We saw that on the old website where it was like, you know, if you, you know, modified by intelligence or something like that. So the gear layout that you have, not only that, but the mastery of what your skills are going to be. The fact that not all spells are just viable from a vendor, you may have to come and search for them and you may not have all the spells. You may have to get other things, right? And then the other part of that is, is that it's not just mastery for your spells, but we haven't seen it yet, but it's been talked about that there's going to be a whole character mastery as well, where you'll be able to put into different things about your race or your character itself or your, you know, it's not going to be class specific. So there's a lot to put into. And I think that one of the things people get stuck on, and again, I'm not speaking for Joppa here, but people get very stuck on the fact that at one point Joppa said that some at some point people will be able to get all the mastery abilities, right? And that's caused a lot of people to say, oh, well, the mastery system, if everyone's going to have everything, what's the point? There's no uniqueness. Just my personal belief there, and I don't know about you, but I think back to like AA points. Yeah, you could get all the AA points. It took you freaking forever and you were in a very limited group that had them all back then. Right. So while you may be able to get all the mastery points, I don't think it's going to be an overwhelming amount of the population that does that. So you're still going to have important choice to make, in my opinion. So yeah, that's always been my belief, too. I mean, that's always been the the my understanding of it. And um, I, that seems fine. You know, it seems fine. So yeah. yeah. Um, swimming. I love the fact that they said it's really not going to be a huge combat focus. Like there'll be enemies, but the fact that it's really going to be tied to swimming and, um, you know, uh, like anaerobic climate and things like that, that are going to really tie to the adventuring aspect. You know, it's funny. We talk about Zelda all the time because Joppa is a huge Breath of the Wild fan, right? We're getting an MMO that's going to have the adventure of like a Zelda game. I'm telling you, that's what we're going to get. No, we I never know. I've that. been saying, I know. I've been saying that all along, man. It's like, yeah. I, I, I like Breath of the Wild's a masterpiece. I've said that before too. And, um, <laughs> you know, I don't, it's not, you know, it's clearly more than that. It's obviously much more of a different style of game, but that spirit, um, yep. can't go wrong. Yep. Should be pretty cool. Um, I do want to shout this out. Nafel put a comment in, uh, Nafel, you're getting in trouble now. I'm just kidding. Um, Nafel put a comment in the Twitch chat that I, in case people didn't see it, I wanted to read this. I thought it was really good. He said, um, you know, they were talking about the guild system, talking about looking for group tolls. And of course, as soon as Luke looking for group tolls came up in the chat, everyone was a little worried, uh, automation and this and that. And, um, you know, the big thing is Nafel said, when it comes to systems like guilds and LFG, please don't worry. We know all about the pitfalls that other games have run into. And we're very conscious about delivering tools that help socialization rather than hurt it. So I just thought that was a really good quote. I saw it. I'm like, I'm going to clip that because that's something I want to make sure everybody sees. So that was a, a pretty interesting take. And I think pretty important too, to knowing that, you know, this isn't, it's funny to me, Theric, there's terms that people automatically assume the worst of LFG is one of them. We need a tool to look for a group. This game is based on grouping. <laughs> Like if we don't yeah. have a tool to help us, we're going to be miserable. That doesn't mean teleport me to a dungeon, right? Like yeah. it's, that's the big difference. I, so. I talked about it in the, on the last rewind that the one thing I wanted to know more about, I want them to talk more about, uh, like, I, I want to hear about this LFG tool. Like Ben didn't, I mean, you just basically said it's not, you know, one you've seen before. It's different from anything you've seen before. Uh, uh, you know, great. Love to see that. I'd love to see that. That's, I think that's absolutely key for this game. I mean, beyond all the technical aspects. They got to get that right. Um, no doubt about it. So I'm. they should do a whole stream just on that. <laughs> well, that's my big takeaways. We obviously had the map. Anything you want to say about the map? It's up on the screen right now. Uh, I mean, let's let's get to our green room. I, I don't want to take our green room's thunder okay. because I'm sure people want to talk about the map. You want to yes. leave this up for the map? Yes. Okay. 
All right, it's kind of over our heads a little bit, but I think nobody's going to be worried about not seeing our pretty faces. Uh, let's go ahead and get to the green room. So we got a good amount of people in there, but we are welcoming more to join. So if you want to join our green room, it is 100% free. You just come on the air and you get to talk. It's super fun. It's like uh, when you call your favorite radio station and you turn up the radio real loud so you can hear yourself. Um, that's what we're trying to do here. So come on into the green room. I do not have a direct order of who was in first. So everybody in there, please bear with me. What we're going to do is first, let's pull in Mubert. So Mubert, you are first. Mubert actually helped me with a little project that I put out with a half-sized pint or half-sized bite video. <laughs> half pint. pint. Um, he actually helped me with a little bit of the audio. So, uh, it was pretty cool. Thank you for that. Testing out some stuff. So, um, Mubert, if you are out there, go ahead and unmute your mic and your headset in the green room, and then we will pull you directly in with us live to hear what you thought of tonight's stream. So I'm waiting for that. We don't see it. I'll, there he is. So let's go ahead and bring Mubert in. Hey, Mubert, welcome to the show. He's lighting up, but I can't hear you. All right, Mubert, it looks like your mic, not, mic not, might not be working right now. So I'm going to throw you back up in the green room. But if you get it figured out, ping me and I will bring you back down. So I'm going to throw Mubert up there. Let's go ahead over to, uh, I want to do John Wayne. So John Wayne's yeah. already unmuted. He's already chatting, it looks like. So we're going to pull him and he's probably going to be in mid-chat. So let's go ahead and pull John Wayne in. John Wayne, are you there? I am here. How are y'all doing today? Hey, doing man. Great. Good, good. How are you? I was actually going to help move him with his mic, and then y'all pulled me in. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> got to go. Yeah, what's up, dude? What, do you, what did you think of the stream? Absolutely. No, you know, I, I got to vote. So the first thing I voted, I voted for good for myself. And okay. I, I want to say for the community, I believe this was actually great. It was just when they come out, and Basgrim was saying it on his, on his pre-watch and everything, you know, when they come out with something and it only gets iterated one time, a lot of people get confused and maybe misunderstand. So I think it's really good that they, they took this opportunity to go back over stuff. Even if it's repetitive for some of us, there are a lot of people that don't catch things on the first go around. Not to say that they're, they're dumb or anything, but with all the information that is out there, it's easy to miss things, right? So this was a really, really good thing for them to do here. Yeah, good to uh, put it out in video form, right? Not everybody wants to read, you know, a newsletter. They don't want to uh, spend, you know, the time sort of dissecting it word by word and better just to, you know, hear it straight from the developers themselves, right? And from their mouths. And sometimes when you hear them speak, you get, you know, you get uh, information just from the body language or from sort of the, the things that they don't say, you know, there's, there's a lot more you can sort of interpret from it. So uh, yeah, you do need, you do need to repeat it over and over again. And you need to, uh, it, it's inform it's important information that needs to be out there. So it's a good point. You know what I realized, Absolutely. you know what I realized is important here? We have, we're bringing fans on right now. You know, this is our show, right? Like we're able to be a little self-promoting from time to time. You know, we mention the website, we talk about what we like, right? Like we kind of, that's the one advantage to having your own show, right, Derek? Yeah, absolutely. Well, maybe I'm going to put a little pressure on our guests tonight. There was something else announced during that stream. The very beginning. Do you remember? Oh yeah. I remember what it was. Do you? Are you sure you know what it was? Well, I think you're talking about the content creator position. So there's a there. job coming up for a content creator. So I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Should I go for that, John? Like, should I put a resume in, John? Can, can minus help VR or am I just a huge pain in the ass? What do you think, John? Right on the spot. Absolutely say you could, but the, the real question is, do you have the time? John, for us and everything else you do. I mean, you want to give it 100%. You want to give it your all, right? So... And I know you, you're a maxer, just like me, and we want to do everything at 100%. So just don't let yourself in. But hell, if you do it, I'll get got you back. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're totally right, man. Vote a confidence. You're totally right. There we go. Yeah. Although, I will say this. If he gets hired by VR, then uh, my contract, I'm freed from my shackles of my contract <laughs> here. I will be, uh, I will be uh, allowed to uh, roam free and... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, Nafel just said it. He says, if I come to the dark side or I get that opportunity, that would leave you and Drac in charge. Like you guys could like change whatever you wanted. Hmm. That's right. All right. That's well, right. John Wayne, thanks for the confidence. So that's the big point, though. I mean, I'm just glad that we're reiterating and 
it's just good stuff, man. Especially, I don't even put a clip on because a lot of people were on that gray box. So I went ahead and clipped it. Hey, hey, Joppa. Uh, when he was talking about gray box to, you know, final trade. So hopefully that can be another source because I know people were confused about this saying, hey, why do gray box? Why do gray box whenever, you know, they think it's a waste of time? Well, it's not a waste of time. Uh, There's yeah, stepping right. stones. It's a process. You gotta you gotta hit A, B, and C before you can go to the rest of the alphabet. You know, you know, you know, it's your mark, and then you end up. Yeah. Uh, you know, opening you're breaking up a you're paper breaking paper. up a tiny bit, but I think we got what you were saying there, just about how important the mm -hmm. gray box is. So, so John, when yeah. we're gonna throw you back up, I appreciate it. Like I said, Mike's breaking up a tiny bit, but we got. I think you were still coming through pretty good there. So I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the vote of confidence and. uh Drac already said that if uh, the inmates will be running the prison, well, technically the community already runs Pantheon Plus, so. Yes, right. sir. Right? Yes, right. sir. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, John. I appreciate yep. it, man. See you, John. All right. Fun. Awesome. I have to, you can, if you're not using your platform to promote, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to, guys, but, um, you know, my thing's always been this. I always want to try to help Pantheon as much as possible. If that's through Pantheon Plus and that's what they think is right, then that's what I'll do. If I can yeah. help and I'm not that annoying, um, then maybe, who knows? You got to take your shots, right? You got to take your well, shots when gonna, you get them. I'm just going to say this. I mean, there was one time we were discussing this before and then you had said something about the uh, the Pantheon pause with Minus and Drac. Well, the Pantheon pause might be uh, Theric and Drac, uh, you know, down the road. And who knows? Not the rewind is is being uh, retooled, perhaps. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? Like I said, <laughs> Going to use this platform. Um, I think it was pretty funny. Somebody here said, uh, um, you're annoying, but you could still help. I think it was Sparrow. <laughs> Huge pain in the ass, but you could possibly still help BR. Listen, like I said, I got I to gotta bring it up. It was announced on stream. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see. Uh, Moobert, if you can hear me, ping me in Discord if you're ready to go, if you figured out the mic, if it's working in there for you. And we'll try to get you in And once I get that ping to know it's working. So until then... Let's go ahead and grab um, DM Harms. We always make, do you ever notice we always make him last, like completely last all Yeah, the time? we always wait to the very end, yes. Get all him in time. quickly here before his roommates are asleep. Yeah, so let's go. <laughs> Somebody just said, are you trying to help or hinder his chances? Um, let's go ahead and uh, bring in DM Harms, Mr. Desert. Hey, you get to come on early tonight. You can go to bed early. You could leave. You could pretend I you were know. here. It's amazing. It's wild. Thanks for that. Thanks for that a lot. Yeah, no, for sure, man. How are you? I'm doing great. You know, I'm always so like stoked and energetic uh, after these streams. It's it's hard hard not to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What do you like the most? You know, uh, I I actually thought the premise of the stream was really good. Just kind of like, hey, we put out this producer's letter. There was a lot of questions. Uh, a lot of people maybe misunderstanding what it meant. So let's like kind of just go through and uh, clarify some things. I thought that was that was great, and of course, adding some beans in there is 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 fantastic. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. You Anything... know, the last person on there brought that up too. That you know, sometimes we look at the lens of like communication as like we we look at so much. I mean, like we said, we're we're working on an FAQ. We put out a weekly podcast. We're digging for information. We're looking on Discord and different platforms for any information that some dev said to put into a dev tracker. We're working on a website. So we're always like really inundated in the communication, whereas not everybody's like that. I'd say actually most people are not. So it's a really good bring up to say like it's really good to bring this on the air and to hear the talking and, the, and to get some more ideas on what it means from just reading it. So I agree with that. That's a great point, actually. It actually kind of changes my view on tonight's stream a little bit, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And I was noticing our, our little poll. This has got to be one of the closer polls that we've had on the stream uh, between mm -hmm. between good and great. So, you know, of course, we got a lot of fans here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I noticed uh, good is in the lead as in like. It wasn't my favorite thing. And I, and I could see that from people that are inundated with, you know, Pantheon goodness uh, being in our really awesome community. Um. But trying to put it in context, uh, I do think this kind of stream uh, and clarification is really important. And I think it's a good direction. I, I'd like to think that VR is learning a lot, um, especially in the communication side of things. Uh, I think that is indicated by this stream. And, uh, and I hope it continues, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's always, um, you know, it's always a question of, do you, you know, do you get to see something new? 
is there any new uh, dates? Do we get something you know uh, to look forward to? Those those kinds of streams are always going to be you know they're going to get the ones that get the almost all great votes you know and and very few. This one I can understand why it's it's a little bit more balanced than than we've seen in the past. Like I said earlier, you know it's just a matter of uh, just a matter of um, uh, for those of us that follow it closely, we've seen this before. We know we knew this information. Um, so, you know, uh, that, that's fine though. Uh, you know, and then we, we get a chance to sort of break it all down afterwards. Right. And sort of talk about the, the details that maybe weren't, like I said, said, but, you know, more of an interpreted from body language or from things that weren't said. So, yeah. Yeah. And do you, do you guys feel like it was a good balance between, I guess, stuff that we already knew um, with the sprinkled beans, or do you think it was a little too light on beans? I, th I think our community poll kind of indicates that that maybe people that follow the project might not have been might not have been quite as satisfied with mm. with new beans. Uh, like, how do you guys feel about that? Like the balance of it? Well, well, I mean, yeah, there were there was some really good. The map drop was big. Like, let's not pretend that that's not huge. If they did a whole stream, if they put a a graphic out and said this upcoming dev stream we're gonna unveil a new map and talk about it that can be a whole stream freak out it'd be, it yeah. could have been a whole stream. i i verbalized my excitement when that came up that was probably <laughs> the only time i actually let out uh anything from my vocal cords <laughs> yeah. during the whole stream yep it was good so i mean that's a big deal so let's not forget you know what it is i think that Sometimes we are our own worst enemies. You know, poor Ronick puts out a, an image with a topic and puts it out there. And then our minds just start racing like, oh, then we're going to get this. Or anything. So my mind in what we were going to get tonight was more in, in just going to be honest. You know, we the people who've read the newsletter, we knew a lot of this. Now, there were some good updates. So please understand that. But I think we were almost expecting like, OK, classes is our first one. Here's where we are. Here's what we're looking to check off soon. Right. Almost like we have this guide now. And this was going to be a little more of updates on where we were and where we are now, like from the time the newsletter came out to now. Here's what progress we've made. I think I was hoping for a little bit of that. And I, talking to people, I think that's what the expectations were. I mean, we even called this like the path to alpha. Um, so I think mm -hmm. maybe that's the only piece like and I vote good on this one, the, and which is great. I mean, if you're going to deliver a good stream, you deliver a good stream. But if if it were to get to great, I think maybe it's because expectations were different because it's just so up for, for trying to figure out like, what's this mean? Right. And we all kind of interpret it different. Do you agree with that Theric? or? I do a hundred percent, a hundred percent. I, uh, that's yeah, it's exactly uh, the way I was looking at it too. You know, um, you know, you just have to, you have to keep in mind and I, we have to do this every time a dev stream comes along to get excited, but don't put the cart before the horse. Right. We, we just, we're just fans. We're just excitable. You know, we just do these things yeah. and we're, it's, it's a curse of being a fan. It is what it is. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Yeah. I, I think I really do agree with you on that one, like critical point though, minus like, uh, if, if I was to point anything out, it would just be timing. Uh, it, it definitely feels like the clarification was a bit late, I guess. Um, not excessively so, but it would have been nice either to be in accompanied with the producer's letter or sh very shortly after, because I think a lot of people that are casually following the game probably don't even remember <laughs> much of the yeah. producer's letter or much of the questions they might have had at that time. Uh, and so on one hand, that could have been a benefit because, hey, we're, you know, rehearing this stuff with a little bit more tangible uh more like depth. you know some examples and stuff like that what do they call it like a little but, bit of nougat on the end a little little more crunch a little more depth <laughs> in the can i like water. to say putting the butter on that's what i always say put putting the butter on that on the, the toast on. make it make it way better um but uh i i think yeah the timing would could have been a little bit better um i think the delivery uh, being in a stream, it I think a, a, one of the biggest disappointments was it seemed like that subject took up the whole stream because I was I was just watching chat. I like getting kind of a pulse of you know how everybody's feeling, and I think a lot of the casual followers, their disappointment was either a they they were expecting just like oh yeah Alpha's going to be this time, <laughs> uh, <laughs> which you you know that's un unreasonable. But yeah. uh, I think a lot of people were 
just not expecting the entire stream to kind of be uh, going down the bullet points, so to speak. I appreciated it That's as fair. a as a fan and as a follower, <clears throat> but there were a lot of people that obviously don't follow the project very well. So, uh, if I was to have one little critical bit, it, it would be the same as you. Yeah, okay. that's fair. I would agree with that. Yeah, and again, is it is it a bad thing? No. Is clarity ever bad? No. I mean, clarity is what everyone's Heck asking no. for, right? So, I mean, yeah. So cool. Um, anything else, DM? You don't want to ask me that. Hey, they're on early time. <laughs> he's he's always no, no. got something else. No, we actually got people in the green room today. Let's get them in. Okay, sounds good. Right on, man. All right, good thanks, talking man. Take to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead and bring. I'm trying to do some fancy stuff behind the scenes here. It's uh, I'm slow. All right, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop the MDM. Great job. Let's go ahead and bring in Zelik. So Zelik, we're bringing you in next. Uh, curious to hear what you have to say here. So. Bring in Zelik now. What's up, Zelik? How are you? Uh oh. It's my What's going on there? You hear me all right? There you are. There, there you go. Are. Now we got you. Yeah, there you are. Uh, I can't hear you. Well, right, are you... Like be back next. Okay, he can't hear us in Discord. Discord's muted for him or something. So I'm going to drop him out. We'll bring him in next. Let's go ahead. We've had a cute couple issues tonight. Let's go ahead, mm -hmm. Lucille, if you are there. Unmute your microphone and your headset. We'll bring you in next. Something weird's going on here. I am not able to find a file I saved. All right, Lucille's ready to go. Lucille is in. There you go. Hey, guys. Can you all hear hey. me? Hey. Yeah. How are you doing, man? Doing great. Thanks. Good. Uh, what's, uh, what's on your mind? Just amazing for yeah. me. Um, the one piece that I loved is uh, the enemy AI with charm. Yes. I thought I thought that was the biggest drop for me personally. That's a good one. That's we didn't even point. bring that up. <laughs> so that was the they were talking about that in the context of um, pets, the pet system, and where they're at in terms of development of the pet system, right? Because. They said that you think of pets, you think of the summoner automatically. You think, oh, that's the only, but it applies to other things too. So like you think of the enchanter and using a charm, you know, and, and how that system then applies to the creature that's been charmed or, uh, you know, other things. The ranger has uh, creatures that can be summoned as well. So um, so that really spoke to you. And that was your, that was something that you were excited to hear about. That was the biggest thing for me. And um, just trying to figure out where Skyhold's going to come in. <laughs> well, Skyhold's in White Thaw, right? So yeah, that... yeah. that's what that's what uh, Nilfell said. Yeah. So when they they talked about it at the end, that's kind of interesting and all. That's a good bring up as well because um at the end they sort of clarified. So Alpha 1 or Alpha, I think they were actually just said Alpha is King's Reach, right? So that's the continent that we're seeing. Levels 1 oh. to 30 is, is what they're going for initially to have in and then but they said rainfall and white thaw are the other two continents will be there for launch. Right. So it, you know, good, good stuff. I'm glad that um, they're sticking to the King's reach plan, which was sort of what it was. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, oh, maybe it would be nice to have those other continents in for beta because those are the homes to the other um, races, right. As you know, right. and the gnomes um, Skyhold is their home. So, when you play, you know, if, if you're in alpha testing or, or um, alpha one, you're going to have to start in an area that's not your natural home, right? If you play a gnome. So. Yeah. And so, yeah, it does kind of feel out of place when you're starting in a, another person's city. But hey. But when the game comes here. out, it's going to be super exciting to see your city, right? Whenever that may be. Oh, yeah. so. It kind of makes me want to know, like, I'm going to be an elf, but then again, I'll have seen Fairthale quite a bit by that point. And maybe when, when launch day comes, I'll have to uh, reconsider. I mean, that's the Dark Mirror argument, right? We, nobody will have played a Dark Mirror or seen the Dark Mirror home until launch, if that's the case. Oh, dude. I can't, I'm speechless. I'm spe Wait a second. I'm speechless right now. Are you telling me that all this inner processing I've had to do to spend all my time with this elf 
like, and I've been trying to come to terms with it. I've been going to therapy sessions. I keep a journal. Like when I have bad elf keep thoughts, I journal. have to write them down in the journal <laughs> and then sort of assess them when I'm in a better place. But now I'm hearing that I, I'm just throwing that thing away. Like you're going to be something else and we're going to go kill all elves. Like I'm really into this. Like this might what have just, we could, what? We're not going to kill What if we could elves? be dark? We could be Darkmere Brothers. What if we could be Darkmere Brothers? That could convince me to switch. I don't know. Can Darkmere yeah, be that, Rangers? I don't know if they can. No, no. <laughs> oh, well, there goes that plan. That's out the window. Good job. All right. Yeah, Lucille, uh, but, appreciate but, it. Anything, anything else? No, but I think Darkmer can be enchanters, or at least enchanters can mm. use the Darkmer illusion. Okay. There you go. So you're you're okay. You can you get to I can be around. You get to have a, a new place to learn. Maybe we'll just be humans yeah. and look exactly like ourselves and just be boring and just walk around Terminus. <laughs> beard go in and well, get you a thank Canadian you, shirt. Are... All right, Lucille, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. All right, I think Zelik is ready to go, so we'll bring Zelik in. Sorry, there's uh, some people having a tough time with Discord tonight. Luckily, I'm hope I'm not, and you're not, you're not anymore, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and bring Zelik back in for another try here. Zelik, welcome back. Hey, so and there he is. Before we get too much into this, yeah. I got uh, one thing I have to do because it was requested right. in chat. Go ahead. If there's a place you gotta go, I'm the one you need to know. I'm the map. There you go, Neff. You got right. it. Nice, nice. Brought the, <laughs> brought the ask, song. Be, ask and thou shall receive. There you go. Oh, we, uh, we didn't get a patch so, out song, but you just you just completely saved the day, man. Th there it is. So, but that said, you are ruining my day, Theric. What? How am my I elven brother from another mother. <laughs> yeah, we're still rangers, though. We're still ranger brothers. Oh, man. Maybe By the not end of this show, he's going to be a halfling rogue. By the end of this as show, long as he's not a gnome. Ones. Well, no, he can't be a rogue. And they as can. long as he's not a gnome. They can. <laughs> gnomes can be gnomes can be rogues. I don't understand. Gnomes, it. Can, gnomes can be dessert. Gnome, <laughs> how do you? We already went through this on the rewind. You can't be you can't glow and be a rogue. So. I'm gonna pretend you, <laughs> that's yeah. that's 100 correct oh, yeah don't so, worry man don't worry i haven't abandoned i haven't abandoned our, our elven beauty yet oh uh, well no let's not even get the yet let's just you haven't done it okay he won't okay. let, let, let's not leave room for this to happen later he's feeling right. feisty because <laughs> the nhl playoffs are coming up he's not thinking clearly right now I, I think I think that must be what it is. He, he's under the influence of playoff fever he's not sure <laughs> who's gonna start for the bears this year he's Derek's all over the place right now. He's uh, just really trying to get it together. And he's, and he's does it matter who he... starts for the Bears this year, though? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> Very much so. Well, two things before we get into your questions. Um, first, I didn't even ask DM Harms. So in chat, you're going to have to say, DM Harms, my platform here. Should I go for this content creator thing? Would, is minus for VR a good thing? I need to get like so, a, I need to get a logo. I believe okay. the question you asked was, would you be are you just a pain in the ass or would this be good for you yeah and i'm gonna right. say why not both? no not good for me good for vr or good for vr thank you yeah, yeah. so why not both right because if you're a pain in the ass that just means that you're persistent and that's what they need is they need somebody with persistence and consistency <laughs> agreed uh, all right agreed so my pain Agreed. in the ass is, is the best quality that's going to help me. I understand. Oh, uh, well, I'm not saying it's your best quality, but it's <laughs> it's a quality. <laughs> it's gotten you to where you are now. Let's just put it there. You go. Right, there, there you go. There you go. No, but in all fairness, you don't want uh, in any job. You don't want a yes man, right? You want an honest man or that's woman true. or whatever, you know, yeah, uh, not to discriminate in any way. But you want a person who's going to be truthful, a person who's going to be honest and a person who's going to push the right message out to your people. So, Absolutely. and since you do come from a, uh, God, this is going to sound like I'm kissing your ass. Uh, since you do come from a community driven uh, background, if you will, and everything is about, you know, the people and the players and the community that kind of sets up the right thing. So there you go. So yeah, I'd say it. both. All right. Stop kissing minus his ass. Yeah. And see, tell, I told you tell it was going to sound like of, that. Tell us what you thought of the stream. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was one of the people that voted great. Uh, okay. you, uh, I will never be satisfied with the amount of beans VR gives us. So I can't use that as a measure. I want bean stew with bean soup with a side of bean burritos and a cup of coffee. Nice. Uh, but they're not going to let me have that. <laughs> At least not till launch day. And even then, maybe not. 
So, oh, there you go, and some red bean ice cream. There you go. Um, so, uh, I but I did vote great because what they gave us uh, made me pull over on the side of the road. First of all, uh, as nice. soon as they said ranger animation, I pulled Ooh. off of the interstate, pulled over on the side of the road, and uh, immediately had to actually watch the stream instead of listen to the stream. Yeah. And I have to say, uh, having the bowstring in the animation, and not just having a bowstring, but a bowstring that had elasticity. In it, where it actually like flapped back and forth uh, hmm. after the shot was pretty freaking sweet. Yeah. Uh, it just shows the level of detail and the level of thought going into these animations. And even outside of the range of perspective, if that's the kind of level of detail that's going into and the level of thought that's going into producing an animation all the way down to the bowstring snapping, what else are they doing with these things? Yeah. Yeah. You know, not even totally. look at that. How crazy is that? I didn't look at all of oh. the twang of the string. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Let me go back and it's really it. there. I was really happy to see that. Um, yeah. cool. In fact, as soon as I saw that, the uh, and then, you know, Joppa was talking about the uh, special traversal and uh, things like that, and then tying the climbing to the grip, I started getting all kinds of crazy things in my head, you know, uh, and I started thinking back to the Wonder Woman movie. What if we could fire an arrow with a rope attached to it and then swing along that rope like a pendulum while shooting other arrow shots? Derek, we talked about that on the last rewind. Derek wanted me to get on his shoulders and he was going to shoot. I was going to hold the rope and he was going to shoot me some. I'm like, Derek, you could just shoot the rope. Why do, you, why do yeah. I have to be on it? <laughs> well, you th- if I do it that way, then you don't get damaged in any way. You don't, there's no chance of you getting injured if I do it the other way. So, Well, to be fair, the downside in the Wonder Woman movie was the girl who did that got shot. Well, that's, well, it's no. a ranger. The only, the see, I, didn't see, of, uh, I put in the chat, I didn't see a ranger death animation yet. So there's still a while off. I mean, then we got to No, that well, down. I mean, the ranger death animation is going to be the last thing they're going to put in there because it's, yeah. it has to be something truly, truly special. It's just it, not it, a lot it, of at this point, play. it's just an iconic part of the MMO experience. It's not just some ordinary bean you throw out there, that's the whole bean casserole. <laughs> that's right. It's funny that Theric just said <laughs> under his breath, uh, well, not a lot of people are going to. <laughs> we'll see Derek um, you have you know that you're on film you know trying to run yes. with me while I'm stealth right <laughs> multiple times <laughs> yes 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 I'm aware of that but I, that was done purposely all right I, that was clearly done on purpose for, he was for looking for the right. ranger death animation to see if it was in game mm, yet yeah right. right that was part of the testing <laughs> yes yes I got you Good stuff. Yeah. I got your back Derek at I least until so. you abandoned me <laughs> so what else though? like anything else that stood out for you there there was uh you know the changeover from fractures we talked about so i thought the fracture thing was really cool the the renaming i like the distinction that at that uh, that adds into the mm-hmm. game i think that uh, joppa was spot on and saying that you know you've got all these words for what's around you and you need to uh somehow distinguish something that is unique and a special event or a special occurrence going on within what's ordinarily around you. So you can't use these ordinary words to describe what's special. You need yeah. a special word to describe what's special. And that's not what he said, but that's what I took away. Standpoint. Yeah, it makes so much sense yeah. from a confusion standpoint. I can't wait for so. Total Darkness. We've said it before, Therick. We've talked about that a few times. The Total Darkness piece, I am just so excited for it, especially as a rogue. Oh, like, yeah. Can't wait for that. Can't wait. Yeah, there's... There's there's so many things to look forward to in this game, and I think that uh, you know there was so much to unpack from this one thing tonight. You know, instead of having a large chunk of a couple of things, we got uh, was it like a sampler plate? You know, we got yeah. the platter with the little sample of everything, and all of it was something good that makes you just want to kind of eat some more of it. You know, mm-hmm. and so there's really a lot to digest, I think, from tonight's. And I think when you go back and you listen uh to tonight's again i think that people all of us myself included will probably pick on something pick up on something that we didn't pick up on the first time yeah that that always happens that usually is like par for the course for me when i go back and i read some of the stuff or if i go back and rewatch something i always find new things that i didn't uh, catch the first time so it's a good point i would I yeah. encourage people to do that so i will say this uh despite the avid ranger fanatic that i am uh and how amazed i was with what i got to see there honestly my favorite thing tonight was the underwater stuff Mm. and not just because of the way they describe the underwater but the way uh they started tying in the anaerobic and the pressure 
uh, uh, climates as well, or fractures, I guess. Um, and the also the uh, finding the air bubbles to suck in and refresh your air supply with, you know. Yeah. Uh, all there's a lot going on in just taking a dive and looking around at what's under the water. How deep can you go? Well, that depends on how deep you've been in the past and how your other Another stats are lining up for you. Mirror. Another reason yeah. to play dark. <laughs> I bet you though, I bet you the dark mirror won't start as deep as you think for that very reason. Or their city will have some kind of shielding around it to alleviate some of the pressure so that you don't start with like some max anaerobic stat. Yeah. Yeah. You're probably so, right. So I imagine point. that it'll probably be uh, you know, more like in the Little Mermaid, where it really wasn't that deep below. It took her like all of two seconds to find the surface. Yeah. We started with a Dora song, and now you're uh, now you're. There you go. The there you go. I'm like... bringing. I went from Nickelodeon to Disney on this. I one. almost started singing <laughs> a whole new world, but that's Aladdin. So I'm not. Yeah. Know. There you go. Well, I mean, we're just going through the golden years of it at this point, right? There you go. <laughs> All we need is the Lion King. I can't oh, sing God. the opening to the Lion King, though. I would butcher that one too bad. Yeah. I'll <laughs> save that for next time. I'm always uh, uh, we'll save that for karaoke night. But uh, thanks for go. having me on tonight, gentlemen. Yeah. I appreciate it, and y'all have a great night. Thanks, awesome, Alec. Alec. Is Alec, if it you is. didn't hear, people said you sound like Ben Dean. And now I've never, I know Zelic. I mean, I've spent a lot of time talking to Zelic, so I didn't ever put it together. But um, someone in chat said that you sound like Ben Dean. And I'm like, holy cow, he, he does sound like Ben Dean. I've noticed maybe, that. Uh, maybe if VR is ever looking for somebody to fill for an audio <laughs> dub when Ben Dean is out, maybe, you know, he'll <laughs> hit me up. I don't know. It was Scribble, Scribble said it. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh, man. All right, uh, awesome, man. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Yeah, man. Have a good one. Yeah. All right. So speaking of scribbles, he's going to be next after we talk to Mubert. Mubert figured everything out. So we're going to bring Mubert in next. And then after that, we'll do scribbles. We're going to end the show with our buddy Drac, the wizard. The wizard. That Maybe he's going to be a ranger now, since you're not. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> so Mubert, if you want to unmute your microphone and headset, I will bring you down into the live chat and we will be ready to go. And then after that, like I said, Scribbles will grab you. And then finally, Drac, you'll finish up the show. Mubert, how are you? Welcome. Sorry about last time. Hey, no problem. Glad to be here. Hey, yeah, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So what's on your mind? What did you, um, you watch the stream? You heard, heard us talking about it and bringing up our bits and pieces here. What about you? What's uh, something that you liked or didn't like or were sort of lukewarm on? Oh, uh, well... I have to say, like, first and foremost, I've mentioned it before, like, uh, in some of my previous posts, I'm a, I'm a Dungeons & Dragons guy. I've been doing it for a long time, and uh, maps really get my blood pumping. Yeah, me <laughs> too, man. I love the map, uh, especially with their, their ideas for cl climbing system implementations and everything. I see more capabilities here for climbing and exploration than I do actually just questing zones. That's a, totally, totally, totally. I mean, you know, it's important to point out, and I'm sure everybody saw the stream and caught this, but this isn't like a concept art map, right? Joppa was very clear that this is not concept art. This is actually the layout that the G, that their terrain has generated. Like this is this is like it's as close as we're going to get to seeing the world as it really exists. It's not a piece of like it's not an imagined concept art kind of thing. Because yeah, I look exactly. at this. And Mubert, I see the climbing too, right? I see all these places where it's like, oh, you could climb over that to get to that. Like the Merc is off to the southwest of Fairthale there, and you could climb over that hill to get into the Veywood, right? It's like, huh. Oh, I've okay. never, Derek, you're a lore guy, so you probably are seeing some of these places and tying it to lore. Have we heard of Veywood? No, no. I, I mean, it was on the old map, um, but we've never seen, heard, um, you know, there may be something written somewhere about it, but that's I think that's about as much as there is. Curious, because I saw that and I'm like, that's not old wood. So what is that? Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So anything about anything else about the map mover that uh, that strikes you? Yeah, actually, uh, I really appreciated their uh, forethinking for uh, future expansions and for like more for more content update after release or even you know further on into uh, into future expansions. Like just th the creation of these extra zones here that we don't see because geography in a game like this is very important. Um, 
zones have to flow from one to the other. You can't have these sort of jarring transitions from one climate to another. But just the size of it and what they have planned is is really exciting to see. Mm -hmm. So looking at it right now, I'm just getting all kinds of ideas just looking at it. And <laughs> think about starting in Fairthale. You know, we, we again, we use the EQ template, but think about the the Kinos Freeport run, right? So look at Fairthale and look at Thronefast and look at the run you'd have to make to get from, you know, from Fairthale all the way to Thronefast. And I have a feeling that the the silent, silent planes are going to be um, are going to be pretty intense. Yes. Uh, and I love the fact that you can actually trace rivers all the way through this continent from one side to the other. Mm. And what I what I've been thinking about for a really long time is a lot of MMOs have pseudo fast travel systems. So you're not really traveling fast. You're just traveling faster than you would on foot. Right. Um, and I wasn't sure how they were going to implement something like that. But I could actually see just river travel all the way around this continent, like barges or boats all the way across anywhere because rivers connect every major portion of this continent yeah it's a good point that's a good point there summoners get your rafts ready let's go ah, that's right summoner <laughs> raft i was trying to think of how you would do that actually i was thinking like you know strapping onto the back of a dark mirror and riding them down the stream or something like that but i think the raft is probably more likely <laughs> what's up with you fusing people together you want me to sit on your shoulders you want to ride can i sit on your shoulders while you ride a dark mirror like can we do that i don't know man i messed up i, I got my brains all <laughs> twisted so don't 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 rely on me to for, for ideas oh, boy. but uh, uh, I, yeah, I can definitely i'm really looking forward to climbing uh all the way across um uh Climbing all the way across Hangor and over into the Rhones and getting some really nice screenshots before I die horribly. Exactly. exactly. I, I want to say something really important on the map. If you look at it, you know, I'm not using math here or anything, but it looks to me like the biggest area when you really look at it is probably Wild's End, which is, you know, the home of the halflings. I just want to say Wild's End looking pretty hot right there, right down the bottom. Yeah, Absolutely. Just, just saying, sure. So, yeah. Well, if you read the, the, lore that used to be on the website and they talk about wild's end there's like five six separate zones or um areas that are at least described in wild's end i think it's going to be a really um expansive area in terms of the content that's there um just based on what we've read in the past so and you can kind of see it on the map there actually you can mm -hmm. see the um little text next to the wild's end i think that says mad more because that is actually one of the places that's detailed in the lore is the the mad more I can um, zoom in on it here or just get rid of it. All yeah. there. Let's see. Maybe I can zoom it. Mm -hmm. The Mad Moors. That's Mad right. Mad. Yeah. Yep. Mad Moor. That's it. Yeah. Good eye. Good eye. Nice. No, awesome. Yeah, the map was really cool. And I'm going to sit here and probably look at it a lot after this is all said and done, too. So it's pretty neat. So. Oh, damn. yeah, I think yeah. I think I've got a I think I've got a lore video that's going to be generated by this because I'm just having all <laughs> kinds of ideas as Moobert as you brought it up. I'm, I'm so glad you did from a D&D &D perspective. I've got just tons of ideas about this and things I could write about or you oh, know, do yeah. a video. About. You can find so many areas along this where you could you can you can pretty much see where the 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 developers are planning major quest hubs just from the layout of the land here. Mm -hmm. Totally. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, Moober, thank you, buddy. Sorry again about the issues the first time there, but you came back and you hit a home run, so appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. All right, man, take care. Me. We'll talk to you next See time. See ya. All right, so we got two left. We got Scribbles, then we're going to close up with our boy. As soon as we pull Dracula, I'm like, okay, everybody, and that's it for tonight's show. No, I'm kidding. All right, here yeah. comes uh, get Scribbles. <laughs> what? Yeah, got to get what? <laughs> I was going to say, we got to get the Twitter criminal in here. Yeah, we'll get him in. Uh, Scribbles, if you want to unmute your microphone, I'd be glad to bring you in if you're looking to come into the chat here. There it is. Here he comes. What is going on, my fellow Pittsburgher? Hey, Pittsburgher. hey, man. My fellow Yinzer. Can we say that? I, on, uh... well, actually, yes, definitely, definitely. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? Good. I, I, I hear, I hear two voices going on. Oh, mute the live stream. That's why. Move the live stream. Okay. It's it's cool. just like when you go on the yeah. radio. Do you ever listen to like a radio call oh, yeah, yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then okay, they cool. like turn your radio down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time. Every time. hundred percent. So yeah, that's my first time on a show. A long time fan. Oh um, yeah. yeah. There you go. Now yeah. you're in now you're in the zone. Now you got yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So so I you know, I used to be a content creator for uh, Pantheon. I love Pantheon, man. Great guys. Um uh the, the thing about the thing 
tonight's stream was great. I, I, I think the best thing I got out of it was the animations were on tonight. Yeah. What did you guys think about that? The monk was cool. Yeah. The, the backflip, the not like yeah. the single backflip, but like the the multiple backflip thing looked really solid. Uh-huh. That really caught me for that. Yeah. I didn't notice the string like you did, Derek, but. Yeah, well, I actually Zelik did a really good point out there, and and the way that the ranger was reaching back to grab another arrow off its back, and like you know, you know, if 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 that's, I love that Pantheon's a slower paced game, and I say this all the time. Yeah, but like, definitely. We play these fast games, and you can't appreciate these excellent animations because everything's so fast; it just blurs by your brain, you know. And yeah. and I love that it's going to be slow enough that i can appreciate really good character animations like this and and i'm glad they're putting the detail into it because it's not wasted it's not going to be wasted like it is in, in some other games yeah so so i was a, a pantheon creator back back in you know 2018 that's a long time ago so the thing is i seen a, the evolution of pantheon and it's just it's mind-boggling so it's really it's really definitely uh created their own aspect of of you know their own world so it's it's really fascinating to me and like with joppa and and bendy tonight it was really cool so i don't know Hmm. if you guys feel the same way tonight or yeah well it's funny i'm it's good it's good to have a perspective from you from somebody who's you know um seen it such a long over such a long period of time because we're so micro focused on it right we don't tend to Uh, see that progress because we're just looking and we're like ants on a canvas right we're just moving along and we're seeing it so up closely but when you get that bird's eye view, you're um, you're saying it. It's like, yeah. it's, like oh, yeah. it's definitely it's definitely very very intriguing to us. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I do a a game called Defend the Night. It's 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 kind of loose competition. I don't really you know say it's competition to Pantheon. It's just another MMORPG, mm-hmm. and we always look at Pantheon and just just see how they they create you know they create their their atmosphere and, and lore and we just just really in, in, enthralled about what they're doing yeah. there so really yeah, good absolutely. stuff absolutely no man and honestly uh i just want to give a shout out to you too you know um cool. you and your team at defend the night have also been extremely awesome with us here at pantheon plus you know pantheon plus you isn't just about pantheon it's about the community and and i wouldn't have known you if it wasn't for the pantheon community and you know you guys absolutely. have just been completely awesome to us and and, you know, I mean, me and you have had personal conversations, you know, and, and that wouldn't have happened without the Pantheon community to to get us to know each other. It turns out we're both from Pittsburgh, you know, and uh, just you do amazing things out there. And I've always been very complimentary of you and the type of person you are in the community because you're not just a guy who's working on his own game. You know, there's a lot of people who shut the door, they work on their game and that's it. Right. That's that's what happens. You're out there mixing and matching with other developers and theory crafting and, and helping with issues and just building these crazy relationships that, you know, yeah, your game is, is your baby and you want it to be the best it can be, but you're such a selfless person who like literally oh. without having spare time, you still give it to everybody, even goofy right. content creators like me and Derek. Um, you know, and I, right. I just want to say, I appreciate it, man. I think, yeah. I think that it shows what kind of person you are and knowing that you're heading up that game and, and a big part of it, I mean, it's something that I think a lot of people can be excited about. And there's more than enough room for multiple MMOs out there. That's for sure. So, yeah, yeah I mean, everybody in chat, check out the DM Harms. Just put the link for Defend the Night in there uh, for the yeah. site. So, if you want to go I'm, check Defend the Night yeah, out, yeah, for, for everything. I mean, we, we, I mean, I've talked to a lot of a lot of other developers like like Amigo and and uh, you know Arcage and and Ashes of Creation, and we we are all the same. We all have the same the, you know theory is we just need to have the MMORPG advance. We're yeah. all fans of what we were doing, so it's just you know the one of the things where where we need more eyes on it so we can show you what you know what we're we're capable of. So yeah, definitely. exactly. Well, you always have our support, that's for sure. And thank you for being such an awesome person. And uh, thanks for all the conversations we've had. And I'm sure we will have. So <laughs> appreciate it, man. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Take care. Talk to you later, man. I don't know if you saw, but in chat, I was I was doing this here on screen. Do you see the Tower of the Reckless Magician down there? I, I had a feeling that's what you were trying to show like, there. Yes, like I do see it's the like, Tower oh, of the Reckless Magician. Yeah, it's hidden down there at the bottom. So I blew the map up, so it's a little crazy right now. But. That was a great stream back then. I want to see that. I want to see more of that tower. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, yeah. so let's uh, wrap up with our man Drac here. Bring in Drac the band. He's coming in now. What's up, Drac? How are you? 
I'm doing excellent. You don't get to come <laughs> to these a lot. You're usually working, right? I work every other Thursday, so just depending on how it falls, uh, I make about half of them. Nice. So it's hey, well, you're out on your, oh, sorry, out your road trip there. I'm glad you're able to uh, to make it. 14 hours yesterday, man. Montana was great. Awesome. And the best part Sparrow, is... Sparrow's referring to you as the there. Twitter refugee, by the way, Drek. Yes. <laughs> if anyone from Twitter is listening, I didn't do anything, let me back in. If someone from Twitter that worked at Twitter is, is in our chat, uh, I would be shocked. But yes, <laughs> please reconsider please. Drax. Unfair. He's really a good guy. <laughs> he's, he's a good dude. Man. I don't know. No, no. Don't make him go to some competing social media platform. Uh, I'm great. about to have to make my Facebook account again. Nobody wants to see Drax on TikTok. <laughs> All right, Drax. So. For that. So, Drac, what do you think of the stream so we can uh, let people get some sleep tonight? <laughs> uh, I thought We're the stream goofy. was great. I yeah. also love the map. Uh, the thing I liked about the map most was just this sense of how huge the game is. Because if you look at the map and how many so zones we've actually seen, and then how many, like how large the rest of it is compared to that. And if, if Joppa said the it's an actual map, so like the zones are relative to the size of it then that makes like this is and this is one of the three continents then that makes the world gigantic huge which yes. i love and that, mm -hmm. i think that's was my favorite part of the whole night yeah i mean look at the we've, we've never seen eastern plains we've never seen the veil vale of azurus as far as i know uh silent plains we i think we saw a screenshot or something in, the, in one of the streams the Veywood we've never seen. South Sail Peninsula we saw a long time ago in the uh, Tower of the Reckless Magician uh, stream back then. And then obviously we've seen Fairthale and the Merc. We've only seen um, like a very, un, you know, concept, not very concept, art, like gray yeah. box version of the Merc. So, right. Wow. And I mean, even Fairthale, like how much have we actually seen, right? It's not that much. Okay. And, and Matt here in chat of... said actually we, we saw a Veil of Azurus a really long time ago, apparently. I don't remember that. Um, we did see, when most of the fair that we've seen is Oldwood, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We haven't seen Fay Hollow. We haven't seen this Avalon too in the northwest corner. Honestly, I've never even heard of that. I don't know what that is, but that's uh that's something new that I'm not aware of at least. So great. Anybody see I've been looking around on the map, I don't see it. Um I don't see Fortress Devayer. I've been looking to see if it's somewhere on this map. So it must be off the coast. From the lore that I've read, the Fortress de Bayer is not, uh, it would be like in the Northwest corner be by up. There's another continent. The frozen knocked up is up in the Northwest hmm. of this. Um, so that's where it would be, but I don't think it's on here. Okay. All right. What else, Jack, anything else get you excited? Um, I just was like, I'm trying to figure out what the heck's happening with Theric tonight. Like, did he have too much to drink? Like what happened here? <laughs> um, <did> we, <laughs> I mean, are we, are we like, uh, I'm thinking about maybe lobbying, lobbying Pantheon or VR to, to make halflings be able to be wizards. And then we can all three start halflings. Oh my gosh. Uh, if we were all halflings. That'd yeah. be amazing. Right. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, 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 maybe, maybe I'm just, uh, maybe I'm just loopy with, you know, over Pantheon exposure. Maybe I'm just, I'm in too deep and nothing makes sense anymore, but, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, he's going to wake up tomorrow point. and be like, I don't remember what happened on Pantheon plus you last night. <laughs> like, well, I'm just trying to figure out like maybe something happened on BDO last night or. Like, <laughs> oh, we, we don't want to talk about BDO last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. Well, Everybody, uh, Jack, anything else before we wrap up? Thanks for hanging out with us all night, buddy. No problem. No, that was great. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, awesome. everybody. Talk to you later, um, buddy. Yeah, you can stay in here. You don't have to leave. I mean, you're part of us. So. Um, but the big news, I just want to make sure to shout out there one last time for everybody who's still hanging out with us. If you're thinking of upgrading your pledge because you want to get into the 30-hour stream, I just want to give that warning out there that as per, uh, per Madaki, you're probably going to have to do that tonight. Um, if you don't do it tonight, there is a chance you're not going to get in to the 30 hour session. So if you can't and do it tonight and that was why you were doing it, you know, just want to give that heads up. Um, it is the final chance to jump into the 30 hour session. Um, you know, at this point, um, we all know that, you know, 
you're not supposed to talk about being VIPs, but you see on the screen that we've tested. So I will just say that I'm very excited for everybody who's going to have an opportunity to do the 30 hour session. Um, we'll see who the warriors of MMO gaming are this week. How many people <laughs> out there in the tester community is going to go 30 hours? That's yeah. That's Drax a, a wizard, while. but I also know he's a warrior. Drac Drac could do it. I, I cannot. I've done it. I've done it. I got, there's got to be a point where I have diminishing returns, and I'm wondering when that's coming. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, Zinix, Zinix in chat says he's going to try it. So right. good for him. All right. We'll see. I'm going to. I want to hear the stories. Well, I guess we can't hear them, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, everybody, thank you so much once again. Thank you to Visionary Realms. Uh, we love following up their the streams. Thank you guys for putting it together. I know you guys were shorthanded tonight, but it was a good stream. There's a lot there. Uh, thank you for throwing those videos in. I think I can say for everybody that we really love the um, the little videos that you send out when we don't know they're coming on the animations. But that map drop, I mean, let's be honest, that was the that was pretty the surprise good. there. Yeah, that was pretty that sick. Was pretty good. That was the best part. Yeah. So thank you guys for and dropping that. I think everyone's been asking for it so long that we haven't been asking for it recently. And you guys are like, oh, yeah, well, here's the map. So I'm going to I should get that on a shirt and just put I got a map just put that on there just rock that <laughs> everybody isn't making shirts tonight so again um all fun and games by the way with the content creator thing um you know maybe i'll consider it um the one thing i want you guys to know is if anything ever happens you know pantheon plus you uh you will always go on um you know i i don't know that the opportunity would ever come you know it would be a, a great thing to even be considered and i appreciate joking with you guys who gave me the vote of confidence um it's nerve it's nerve wracking to even put your resume into a company you love you're like oh is this is this silly for me to do right um but i do thank you guys for <laughs> for supporting us and don't worry uh, pantheon plus you will always live on yeah we got some great people here and luckily uh the two guys in this room with me right now drac and theric uh they're as big a part of this as i am so Love you guys for that. And who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Big thing is, is we always want to make sure we're doing the best we can for Pantheon. And maybe I'll put that in there. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll drop that resume. We have to spruce it up, though. Theric, you're going to have to give me some big words to use to spruce up the resume. Make me look real good. So I will. I will help you out. Yes. <laughs> and uh, also, out, everyone out there, you know, you guys know we're tight with all the content creators. So any content creator goes for it. Um, you know, good luck, honestly. Uh if someone can okay. help them drive some more communication and some more cool footage out there and get the community more engaged, you know, that position is going to be awesome to whoever can do that. So whether it's me, whether it's another content creator or someone we don't know yet, I think it's good news for the whole community. So um, if it's me, though, I'll do some crazy stuff. How about that? Maybe I'll, uh, I'll do some kind of pool. We would be disappointed there. if you did not. We would be disappointed. Yes. All right, guys. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for joining us tonight. Thank you to everybody who subscribed. Thank you to everybody who followed us. Um, we're up to 913 followers. You guys are incredible. Um, thank awesome. you for everything you do in the community because we don't exist without you. Thank you, Drac. Thank you, Theric. And thank you, Visionary Realms. Everybody have a good night. Get some good sleep. And uh, to anyone testing this weekend, 30 hours. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> good night, everyone. I'd like to just say thank you for not banning me. <laughs> <laughs>